nearly 830 years later since the building was built, it still stands as one of the greatest buildings ever built. The Louvre or the Louvre Museum, not only a historic landmark, but also is the most visited museum of the world. The Louvre is home to 380,000 pieces of artworks. Out of those 380,000 of artworks, only 35,000 of artworks are on display. April 6, 1520, Raphael passed away, and even though he died at an early age of 32, he still managed to become one of the most famous artists to this day. So famous, in fact, that his artworks went on display on many well-known museums. For instance, his artwork of St. George on Louvre, or his school of Athens on Vatican Museum or even his portrait of Madeleine Doni on Uffizi Gallery. Did I also mention that Raphael was part of the three great masters of the Renaissance? Alongside with Leonardo and Michelangelo, the three artists went on to become one of the most well-known artists to this day. Raphael is primarily renowned for his paintings, frescoes, and in some ways, his drawings. Influenced by Leonardo, this led to Raphael to use such techniques introduced by Leonardo, such as fumato, that allowed seamless transition between tones and colors, plus chiaroscuro, the use of strong contrast between light and dark areas. Raphael died at a young age, but talent and charm, that is what enabled Raphael to rise above his limit and let him be immensely recognizable today.